Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're going to be taking a look at a hybrid drive. Now, if you don't know what these are, these are basically drives that combine the SSD and the hard drive into one solid, nice-looking drive. Well, not really. It just basically performs the same. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to take this thing apart. We're going to show you exactly what's going on here. Now, obviously, this does have dead written on it, and there's a reason behind that. Basically, this was dropped, and this was a dropped drive, and it's got a nick in the back of the board. Now, I've already tried recording this once, and as you can assume from the fact that these screws are already taken apart, is that that video clip did not record sadly. So here I am recording it again. We'll just call it dedication to the video. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show, do, basically you don't have to watch me watch all, take out all the screws either, um, but I'm going to show you exactly what's on the inside of this, which basically my hunch is that something relating on the back is actually going to be what the SSD part is. Now, basically this drive in particular is a one terabyte drive that has a eight gigabyte amount of flash memory. So how these drives work is similar to how Intel markets is Optane memory. Basically, the Optane serves as cache, and we're just gonna be referring to that example for a second, is that it operates like cache, and basically important files, small files, or files that take a long time to load, are put in this cache so that it takes a lot less longer to go through and load your games, your videos, your on a software, anything like that. That's why hybrid drives got so popular. So this one has eight gigabytes of that kind of memory, and basically we got that one terabyte coupled with the eight gigabytes. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what it looks like on the inside. So without further ado, let's get into here. I'm gonna explain some of the equipment I've got here because I've got something usually kind of different than I usually would in my videos. Um, right here I've got a nice magnifying glass um, camera, which this is a very, very um, low resolution camera, which I do apologize for. That's why it'll be in the bottom of this video, especially when you're running at 4K and this is only a 12 by 780, some 12,000 by 1280. It's only about good for about half your screen before it really gets blurry. And if you really need something like that, you can always blow up the video because I personally don't think blurry content is really good to look at, especially when you're watching 4K. Um, I think that, especially when I release 4K, I think that's a good option because everybody should see that crystal clear. And if not, you can always blow it up. Um, I've got some screwdriver kits over here. Just take apart some of the simple stuff. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and show you what's exactly inside of this. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are with the advanced camera setup, we'll call it. And basically what today we're going to do is I'm just going to take this apart and go step by step through basically what's on the side. So I've got the camera lit up over here as well. And I've already taken out some of the screws, as you can assume. I'm not going to really put them back on, especially after I've taken them apart once. So you can see this is what an inside of a one terabyte hybrid drive looks like. So a couple things to point out. If you don't know, this is just simple, intuitive kind of information here. Now, basically how hard drive works is there are multiple layers of disks. Um, it actually looks like this is a single disk, which means that I would say that this probably only has one layer in it. Um, is that this is a single disk that spins really fast, uh, actually at 7,200 RPM, and basically this little arm right here reads and writes to it by moving up and down the drive. As you can see, this one's actually stuck here in this position, which I would probably be willing to say that's why it's down, or maybe whenever it got dropped, that's probably what the position it was stuck at. So basically, this, dry, this thing moves up and down, and this is two-sided uh, pins that basically read and write to both sides of this disk and they move all about so they can cover every single area on this, uh, these two di or this, both sides of this disk, and they write your data to it, and that's one terabyte of data. So now the biggest question on here is actually the back, because we've got you know what, how a basic hard drive works, and that's the kind of concept of it, but what's really interesting, and I'm assuming you're watching this video for, is the fact on what actually goes on behind the scenes. So this is what it's going to look like. I've got a nice little, let me adjust the camera lens real quick so you guys can see this. So this is what the back is. Now let me show you real quick what actually happened. As you can see right about here, on the tip of my finger, you can see there's a nice little indention I've highlighted with some pen. And so on the back here, you can see it's right about where that thing is at. But you can actually see, if you're um, looking at it from the angle I am, that these pins right here, let's see if I can get that in view for you guys, these pins that I'm pointing to right now with the edge of my um, thing, actually let's see if I can plop them with the with them on this as well so you guys have a better view. So though that pin and that pin right there both actually are bent in. So I would assume when this was dropped that pretty much was a perfect spot that pretty much disabled the whole drive. And if you look on the back here, exactly where that is, you'll actually see it looks like there's some burn marks. 
which I would assume does not necessarily mean the best thing when I try plugging this back in. So you can actually see right here, that that's what happens. Looks, it's all bent up, burn marks, everything like that. Doesn't necessarily look the best. So let's take a look at this actual chip now, because there's still a lot we can learn here. So first off, let's talk about a few things. This right here is the flash memory. I'm pretty sure this is Samsung and developed it. I could arguably say that this could be the flash memory as well, but it could be pretty much either or, and I'm not necessarily here to argue. I really could say it could be either one without a problem. So I'm trying to adjust this so you guys can see this a little bit better. But that's what it looks like there. And then we've got the Samsung memory right there. That I'll say either one of those is probably the culprit um, of what exactly happened there. So, and I would also say that's not going to be a fixable thing. Um, you'd probably need to get a new board, and since the flash memory is already attached to it, I would say it's probably not going to be worth getting a new board for one terabyte. This will probably cost you 30 to 40 bucks, and the drive itself is probably 30 to 40 bucks. So it's not necessarily the greatest idea as well. So that is going to be that side, and as you can tell on the back, there's just nothing real. There's really no way to know that was important, and when you flip it over, it was heavily important. So this is something to keep in mind, is electronics can always be more damaged than possible. And I can't bend that back in, too, because it's actually pretty dent bent in. So, um, and especially if I put it back in, I'm sure something's already been broken, so I'm not too concerned about that as well. I've, I've kind of given up. I wanted to make a video out of it just to just get some content out of it, because I would get... It's more than I would get otherwise if it going in the trash, of course. But um, that's going to wrap up. And, of course, they've got a, I'm assuming that's some type of chip right there. That's what I'm assuming that is. And I will probably say that that is somewhat... And, of course, that's a um, heat pad. Um, but that's probably some type of chip that does the processing, um, probably encoding or something in and from the drive. That will say it's probably also important that it gets cooled, which is why it's connected to the overall drive to cool off. But that is basically the whole insides of a drive. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, actually, I'm going to dive into a processor next, see what's inside of that sucker. I've got a GPU next, and I've got a bunch of other components. I'm going to go through every part of the computer you can imagine because I feel like it's important information for everybody to know exactly what's on the insides of their computer components because usually when you buy something, you get like a said box or you'll get like something you really can't know what's inside, especially with right to repair going on. I feel like it's a good thing just to know a general concept of how things work. Obviously, everything is not going to be identical or anywhere near, but like graphics cards, they have the same general concept. Um, you know, flash drives or... Um, hybrid drives or hard drives, all very similar in certain ways, especially when you start putting SSDs next to them. So what we're really going to do is just wanting to say thank you for watching this far. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you learned something. Um, it was very interesting for me. Hopefully it was for you. And uh, without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.